Hi gang, Rob here. It is the afternoon of 20 April 2021. It's like 35 degrees outside and snowing. <laughs> A month into spring. How about that for some Hoosier weather? Coming to you this afternoon with a knife review from the sharpening bench variety. Not on this knife, but on this knife. Yeah, uh, keeping it company is the Benchmade bug out. Uh -huh. With the aluminum scales from AWT, gray blade. The reason I have these two sitting together is because they are very similar knives. The knife we're going to look at today is from Hogue, and it is the model number 24277 Deca, featuring a design by Alan Elishowitz, a blade of Cerakoted CPM 20 CV, a layered G10 or G Mascus handle in flat dark earth ambidextrous pocket clip and what Hoga has dubbed the able lock the able lock does it look at all like an axis lock yes <clears throat> it is a dead ripoff of the patent expired benchmade McHenry and Williams axis lock the knife dimensionally is definitely a bug out fighter it sure is. So let's take a look at some dimensions. Handle length four and a quarter inches. Almost identical to a bug out. Blade length three and one quarter inches. Almost identical to a bug out. Blade thickness 94 thousandths, 0.094 inches or 330 seconds virtually identical to the bug out pivot suspension via phosphor bronze washers just like the bug out thumb stud deployment just like the bug out but with an issue or two uh -huh. liners nested stainless steel just like the bug out hmm <clears throat> Gee, I wonder where Hogue has aimed this little knife. Weight, 2.3 ounces. Uh, a little bit heavier than a standard FRN handled bug out, which weighs in at about 1.7, which is still insane. Weighs almost exactly the same as mine as modded with the aluminum scales. So yeah, great little EDC knife. Let's talk about how it is executed did they did they equal the bug out in execution well first let's look at the blade instead of that almost full flat grinder a saber grind clear up to here the deca's saber grind stops a little lower just above the maker's mark <clears throat> so a little wedgier geometry although both these knives are sharpened at 17 degrees per side with about a 19 or 20 micro bevel. And the bevel width just about the same. So we get to about the same thickness behind the edge on both of these knives. Instead of that sort of drop spear bug out blade, we have an Elishowitz clip point with jimped, with jimped thumb ramp on the blade, whereas the bug out jimps only the liners. These aluminum scales are jimped also, so it kind of wants your hand back a little farther than the DECA. And I think, frankly, the location of the jimping on the bug out is a little better ergonomically. But uh, nothing to sneeze at, right? The ergos of the handle, the shape's a little bit different. Uh, the Hogue seems to want your fingers to be in a little more dictated position not quite as much room to roam with that sharp secondary <clears throat> point for the index finger but even back in that position I've still got all four fingers on that compact handle so saber grip works well 
pinch grip works pretty well, although the bottom of the handle does kind of irritate the index finger, which I don't seem to find as much on the bug out. I guess that's a little broader from spine of the handle to this point on the DECA. In the hammer grip, works pretty nicely. It does feel like the hand is kind of back farther than it wants to be with that pronounced finger group. Not so on the bug out. Draw cut grip, super fine that way. And then that sort of vertical draw cut grip, super comfortable. Yeah, no advantage for either knife there. And in the, in the grip we'll probably never use on this little three and a quarter inch bladed EDC knife. The reverse grip. Pretty comfortable though if you were going to employ the knife in sort of a hacking, stabbing application. Construction, we've got hourglass standoffs that are nicely affixed to the handle, proper locating engineering on those standoffs. <clears throat> we have a flat sided female pivot with a D-shaped barrel and a T8 Torx adjustable male side of the pivot. All hardware is Torx and it looks like everything's T8. But if we look closely at the heads, those are formed heads. Those are kind of less expensive, although larger diameter and larger, uh, larger Torx bit than on the bug out. So kind of a miss, I think, on the hardware. You can see the, the little cuts at each peak of, of the, uh, the Torx bit, which indicates a, a less strong head in the way that they're made. But, you know, it is a super lightweight EDC blade, so we're not going to really ding it too hard for that. The one issue that I sort of have with this knife um, is the thumb studs. Now, they look kind of cool. But if you notice, there is no... There is no Torx socket. So the only way to get those loose to sharpen the knife, and because they're a little bit tall... Um, I think they're taller than the bug out thumb studs just by a little bit. Uh, if you want those out of the way for sharpening, you got to get at them with pliers and hope they didn't over lock tight them. So we've always appreciated the simple yet functional thumb studs on Benchmade Axis Lock knives because sometimes you need to get those out of the way for sharpening. You really don't on the bug out because they're back toward the handle and out of the way. But the deck, it kind of needs them removed, and <clears throat> I did. And they came out just fine. I just wish they had a, a proper driver set up. The Cerakote on the blade, you guys have heard me talk about this with some recent Benchmade offerings. I like it better than DLC. Um, I know it's not, you know, it's more of an applied product than a chemically adhered product like DLC or PVD coating, but it's super well done. Now this knife had some use on it before it came to me to sharpen, and you, I think you can see some little tiny rubs where the swedge meets the primary grind, but certainly not, not through. A little scratch right here by my thumbnail, but not through. And if you look at the margins of the cutting edge where I've stropped and sharpened, it holds up well. Strapping doesn't seem to wipe off the coating like DLC does, especially that sort of powdery variety that Spyderco uses. And you don't have to re-oil the blade after you peel your mask, your tape mask, um, off the blade. You know, a lot of times when you when you tape a DLC blade and then you remove the tape it turns real chalky and gray and you have to sort of re-oil it and wipe it down to make it black again. You don't have to do that with Cerakote. So I like the stuff. It really holds up well and it maintains well. So that's a good thing. 
the blade steel on this iteration, and I, who knows how many more there will be, because I think this is going to be a, a pattern for Hug that gets made in many varieties. I would assume they're going to sell very well. But this one has TPM 20 CV, which is an upgrade over the base S30 V in, in the bug out from Benchmade. But it's priced accordingly. Uh, price point on this one is 148 web pricing at your favorite retailer. I think a base bug out is what, around 120. And you know, some more special bug outs have been made that have been up in those mid 100s uh, with G10 handles and better steels. And so I, I guess price wise, Hogue put this knife right where it needs to be. I will commend them on their grinding. If you look at the width of my edge bevel, very, very consistent tip to hilt. It gets a little thin back here at the base, though, which is kind of the opposite of what we usually see. We usually see uh, the plunge grind you know, approaching its finished point, and the knife gets thicker as we approach the heel. Uh, I don't know if that's particular to this exact knife, but... It got a little thin. Notice the the bevel width kind of thins at the very base. But all in all, very good. Easy knife to sharpen because of its grinding and geometry. So I think this is a great little EDC user and super well made. Uh, let's see how, how sharp did that 20 CV get? I think it got pretty sharp. Yeah. It did. Push cuts. <clears throat> nice and quietly. Yeah. I think we got a winner here, guys. I think the clip kind of blows, but <clears throat> they did give us a fill tab for the offside. And because that is a milled pocket, the fill tab is nice, but <laughs> I don't know. I kind of I kind of prefer the old benchmade thinking. This is awful busy. I got screw heads sticking up. We need nothing here. Um, it's probably a selling point. I'm not sure it helps the knife. Because if you notice, the rest of the fasteners in that handle are countersunk. So, and look at that milling pattern. I think the camera's picking that up. Very nice. Kind of a crosshatch milled pattern at the back of the knife. Smooth in the front where you want it to be. Yeah, but anyway. Um, yeah, the fill tab is probably a, on the feature list to build value, but those are the only screws that stick up. Um, yeah, I don't know. And they stick up kind of a lot. Didn't really notice that until I was doing the review. Mechanics, lockup is rock solid. The axis lock very well executed. Blade action's great. Not quite free dropping, but not sure you want it to be. Rock solid lockup and blade centering is pretty much right down the middle. Although I gotta say, my bug out is too. Yeah, it is. Dead down the middle. <clears throat> so is it better than a bug out? No, I don't think so. Is it a worthy competitor in a crowded market of ultralight super effective edc knives yeah it is um, and frankly guys hogue hasn't missed it very often um, they really haven't their association with alan lishowitz has been a boon to their business from a design standpoint their 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 construction and engineering um, has been top notch from day one um, they haven't really innovated especially in locks and pivots uh, you know, their early stuff were button lock, uh, button lock folders, and now we've, you know, just, you know, stolen Benchmade's engineering for this one. But, hey, why not? It's fair game in this day and age, and it's one of the best locks ever made. So, yeah, big win, I think, for Hogue. That is the DECA 24277 in G Mascus flat dark earth nice little knife thought you guys would like to see it they are available right now so if you like it run out and get you one that's all for this one grace to you and peace my friends from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ remember the word 
and this here Hogue Decca are sharp. Talk to you soon.